I have to say, if you've woken up today with a sense of worry or regret, you might even be feeling a bit angry. You're not alone. Because it's been revealed the AstraZeneca vaccine is being pulled worldwide months after admitting it can cause adverse side effects, according to The Telegraph. The company says the vaccine is no longer commercially viable. So, if you're one of the millions of people who thought that you were doing the right thing by following the insane rules of the government in 2020 and 2021 and putting this vaccine in your body multiple times, chances are you might be pissed off. If you were living in Melbourne in Australia, one of the most locked down cities in the entire world, like I was, not only were you told to never leave the house except for an hour a day, homeschool your children and only go to work if you were deemed essential, you're forced to listen to this hero every day. They've already talked about the extension of, these lo of this lockdown a further two weeks from this Thursday, but we are strengthening the lockdown as well uh, from 11.59pm tonight. There will be a curfew on advice from the Chief Health Officer from 9pm to 5am each and every day. It is so triggering. And in 2021, if you were living in Sydney, well, you weren't entitled to the same freedoms as everyone else if you didn't get the vaccine. If you're not vaccinated, there will be a health order. It will be the law that if you're not vaccinated, you can't attend those venues that are on our roadmap. You can't go into a hospitality venue. Uh, you can't go to uh, ticketed events unless you are vaccinated. What these politicians did to us as a country was divisive. People were shut down for speaking their truth, shamed for daring to question the motives or extreme measures being taken by the government at the time. And the fear that was being drilled into us was happening on repeat. The mainstream media is also to blame here. Rarely were politicians being criticised or properly being held to account. Because what we saw on the 6pm news most nights were the lines of the politicians being repeated. And if you need reminding of how bad things were, Daniel Andrews was running a campaign to dob in your neighbour if you suspected they weren't at home. There are literally hundreds of thousands of Victorians who have rung the police assistance line because they've had a suspicion that next door or across the road or down the street are doing the wrong thing. And they're doing the right thing and they're angry about it. And some people have sort of looked down their nose at that, oh, dobbing in your neighbour. Well, no neighbour has the right to do the wrong thing. We've all got to see this through. Can anyone seriously watch that now, believe that he was doing a good job? Not to mention the families that were torn apart, the loved ones who were separated from one another as premiers closed the borders for months at a time, the devastating economic pain that businesses suffered then and are still suffering now after being forced to shut their doors for so long, the adolescents who were robbed of some of the best years of their lives as they had their school formals taken away, proper celebrations after school taken away from them, a time in their life that they will never get back again, and a mental health crisis that has escalated as a result of all these decisions made by our premiers at the time. Now, if you were someone who wanted to wait and hold off getting the vaccine until we knew more about it, you were shamed. And some people lost their jobs over it. Others got the vaccine only because they felt that they had to and that they didn't have a choice. Well, now, pharmaceutical giant AstraZeneca is withdrawing its COVID-19 vaccines worldwide after admitting in a UK court it could cause a very rare but dangerous side effect of thrombosis with TTS, which involves blood clotting that can occur in the brain or the stomach and can cause long-term disability or death. To be clear, AstraZeneca says the vaccine is being withdrawn for commercial reasons and has nothing to do with its recent admission. The company says, as multiple variant COVID-19 vaccines have since been developed, there's a surplus of available, updated vaccines. This has led to a decline in demand for Vaxivaria, which is no longer being manufactured or supplied. AstraZeneca has therefore taken the decision to initiate withdrawal of the marketing authorizations for Vaxivaria within Europe. AstraZeneca hasn't been available in Australia since March 2023, but when it was in use, Almost 14 million doses were administered. The Australian Department of Health estimates the rate of TTS from AstraZeneca was about 2 per 100,000 aged 60 years or older, or about 2 to 3 per 100,000 in people under 60. Although AstraZeneca is being discontinued for commercial reasons, the news is a reminder of the freedoms that were taken away from us and the way people were treated by politicians as well as some members of society. 
I think would all agree that we never want to go back to that dark time of 2020 and 2021. But we need to remember that the fear that came from the top down that was drilled into us and made many of us do crazy things like stock up on toilet paper could be thrown back at us, but in a different way. And as a society, we need to learn the lessons from COVID, not to buy into the fear and not to be afraid to speak your truth and not to shame others for speaking theirs.